The plants found in this biome include lichen, mosses, ferns, and wildflowers. Other small plants can be found on the forest floor. Shrubs fill up the middle level and hardwood trees such as maple, oak, birch, magnolia, sweet gum, and beech make up the third level. Animals found in this biome include, but are not limited to, the tawny owl, raccoons, opossums, salamanders, black bears, bobwhite quails, northern copperheads, white-tailed deer, northern cardinals, eastern cardinals, and even chipmunks. This biome contains mountains and hills filled with trees. The temperature can range from 20 degrees Celsius to freezing in the winter. It rains in most areas in the spring and early summer and snow in the late winter. One thing that's interesting about this biome and its climate is that it has four distinct seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Most decadous forests have mild summers averaging at about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Summer months usually begin in early June and end in late August. Winter months don't begin until December. Winter temperatures are fairly cool, with an average temperature of a little below freezing. Almost all of the world's decadous forest is located by an ocean. The ocean and the wind are two big factors of why the temperature and the climate change so much in this biome. Climate is a mix of temperature and precipitation. Decadous forests have almost 14 inches of rain in the winter months and more than 18 inches of rain in the summer. As you can see, the temperature starts rising from zero during February and rises to a little above 20 degrees Celsius to July. Then it slowly drops back down to zero going to December. The rain starts to pick up from 50 millimeters during March and starts to fluctuate all the way to December. Decadous forests have a long, warm growing season as one of the four distinct seasons. The soil is typically rich. The leaves dropped from the trees provide a steady source of organic material for the soil. Many species live in the soil and break down the organic matter. Tree leaves are arranged in strata, canopy, understory, shrub, and ground. A great deal of light is therefore filtered out before it reaches the ground. With the dropping of their leaves during one season, trees stop photosynthesis and enter a dormant period. Three main types of trees are characteristic characteristics of these forests. Northern hardwood, central hardwood, and southeast pine and oak. The soil in the temperate decadous forest is very fertile. In fact, some of the great agricultural regions are found in this biome. That is one of the reasons there aren't a lot of original temperate decadous forests left in this world. Animals in the temperate decadous forest also have to adapt to changing seasons. They must be able to cope with cold winters when food is in short supply. Migration and hibernation are two adaptions used by animals in this biome. A great variety of birds migrate to warmer places where they can find food more easily. Some animals, for example bears, hibernate during cold winter months. Humans make a huge impact in the forest. We cause air pollution, our trash gets in the forest, we ruin the forest ground from mining, and we also cut down too many trees. But there are many ways to fix our forests. In the survivor backpack for the temperate decadous forest, I would have matches, a flashlight, a rain jacket, bug spray, and blankets. Matches and blankets for cold nights, a flashlight because the forest becomes pitch black at night. Bugs spray because most bugs live in the forest, and blankets for winter nights.